I need you on the bow. I need you on the bow. I've got two feet under the keels here. Welcome aboard. I'm Lizzie. And I'm Steve. And we're here because we're not all there. Isla Estanque is a unique spot in the northern sea of Cortez with a snug, comfortable anchorage. But beware, there's a sting in its tail. Steve's looking at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I said you were looking at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is the best place to be snorkeling. I mean, it's fine for the dinghy though. A splash, and all of a sudden, I'm in a different world. Five years ago, I never would have done this. Never. And the reason, and I know this sounds really stupid, but I thought the fish were going to touch me. This stuff that looks like snow, it feeds whales. Can you believe that? So many fish. I see snapper and trigger fish and an angel fish. So there's good old Matt. Stuck on the bottom of it. It's a little deep for me to dive. It's fine for the dinghy though. So I'm gonna see if I can get it out. If you're enjoying this video, please flog that like button. It's free and it helps us out a lot. Nat wakes up in the bay to the south of Isla Estanque. To the west of Isla Estanque is Isla Angel de la Garda, and there's a shallow reef joining the two. I think the current's against us here. Yeah, it's getting deeper now again. The trouble with the swimming pool is getting into it uh, can be a little tricky. So we've come to scout it out. Yeah, so it's surrounded by this natural looking jetty. Several boats could anchor in here. It's bigger than I thought it was. So there's a monohull coming in here. Haven't seen them they before. Must I, we're assuming they're coming here and not where we are because I'm not sure they could get over the reef we just went over. No, they definitely can. There's lots of rocks right here. These guys are all the way over on the starboard side because it's uh, shallow, shallow on this side, so they better be over there. You didn't go before? No. You're braver than me. <laughs> yeah, no, you, what's your draft? And what are you seeing right now? 21. It's on nine out there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. There it is. The edge of Isla Estanque. Steve said he saw a seal or a sea lion. Try to imagine how these rocks came to be here. There it is. You just hear it. You just hear it? Right oh, over there. Over there. So this is Isla Estanque. And this morning we're going to sail from here all the way around and in there. We can't go this way because there's a reef there. We're free. Here comes the anchor. Nice and clean. Things have warmed up. You think it's so austere and barren, but it's not. It's just beautiful. Wow. Yeah, there's definitely a tidal rip here. Look at that. That is 
We're on the northern side of Isla Estanque now, and winding our way around so we can come to the entrance. Camera doesn't do it justice here. You really need to see it in person. It is incredible. Something about the isolation that just makes it work. So there you can see the opening to the swimming pool now. We're far enough on the other side. Depth? 9.45 feet. I need you on the bow. I need you on the bow. I've got two feet under the keels here. Okay, there we over it. Show me your twerk practice again. See? <laughs> I don't think that's technical. Twerk. Okay, so can I pull? You ready to pull? Okay, now we're tight. Anchor set, and it's time to quieten the beasts. And of course, like an idiot, I hadn't checked the tide. And at the shallowest part there, we saw, yeah, about three feet under the keels. So that would have been water still seven feet deep. But uh, yeah, you really should come in here at a higher tide. The boat we saw coming in the other day had a seven foot draft. And they saw nine feet. Yeah. But they came in at high, high tide. tide. <laughs> well, good morning. <laughs> it's a pretty wild one this morning. We saw winds as high as 34 knots. Comfortably ensconced at Isla Estanque. We had quite a strong westerly storm blowing. If you look at the canopy up above us, you can see the arcs of this big storm system that's blowing in from the west. It's pretty wild out there. There's certainly been quite a bit of wind, but there's been almost no swell, and we've had a very comfortable night. Well, the crew is no damn good and sleeps all day. Uh -huh. Do you have anything to say in your defense, crew? Um, I got up in the middle of the night to check on the, on the dishy mick dish face. She got up to pee. This is the swimming pool, also known as Isla Estanque. We're going to climb up there. And there's several of these structures here. I presume fishermen making shelter against the storms. Thanks for watching till the end. Please subscribe so you don't miss our next adventure.